Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to install the A32 NX project by Fly by Wire. The A32 NX project is a community driven open source project to create a free Airbus A320 Neo in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 that is close as possible to reality. It aims to enhance the default A320 Neo by improving the system's depth and functionality to bring it up to payware level, all for free. This may sound familiar because it is like what Zebo did with the 737. This community is doing it for the A320 and Microsoft 2020. So let's jump in and go ahead and show you guys how to install this. Note that there will be links in the description as well as file directory links so that you can do this a little bit simpler, but also you can just follow along. So first we'll bring up Chrome here, whatever browser you prefer. That is what you can choose. Go to github.com slash fly by wire sim slash A32NX. Link will be in the description below. It'll bring you to this depository repository of the actual code of the aircraft. To download it, you select code, and then you're going to select download zip. So will automatically download the A32NX master zip file. And once it is completed, you'll bring up your downloads folder. Your downloads folder, eh, which is simple to get to, you should know how. If you don't, uh, you may need to watch some of the tutorials before you try to install this aircraft. So the A32NX master zip, we'll go ahead and extract that to the downloads folder as well. And once that's completed, what we will do is we will go ahead and open up the A32NX Master and you'll see A32NX Master. And if you open that up, you'll see the actual code itself. That is what you're looking for. Now, of course, if you go into README, it'll ex explain exactly how to install the aircraft. You'll notice it says installation is really simple. You only have to download the A32NX folder, etc., etc., And then it says if the Microsoft Store Edition Steam Edition, Box Edition. So each one of these is how to install into those particular actual versions. I'll be demonstrating the Microsoft Store Edition again for the Steam Edition as well as the Box Edition will be very similar but slightly different. So let's go ahead and get this installed. So inside the A32NX master folder, you'll find the A32NX folder itself this a little bit more visible here. This is the folder you actually care about. All this others is supporting information and different code and stuff they're working on. Not something you need to worry about. This is what matters. So what we can do is we can copy this or you can make another window and drag and drop, but uh, I prefer copy. So I'll hit control C or you can right click and select copy, whichever you prefer. Now we will go into our local disk which is whatever disk you have Windows installed on. We'll go into our users file. We'll go into my file, which is Micah, of course, my first name. Now inside of here, you're going to go to app data. Now you can do this a couple of ways. You can go to view and select uh, hidden items, which then will show you app data, or you can just put backslash app data in the file explorer URL, bring it into the app data folder itself, then we're going to go into local. We're going to scroll down until we find packages. Get this a little larger for you guys. Packages are right here in the center. So we'll go into packages. Now this looks confusing as heck and it kind of is. But what you're looking for, again, this is for the Microsoft Store Edition. Box Edition and Steam Edition are slightly different. Look into the installation folders for how to install it there. We are going to find the Microsoft Flight Simulator. And there's a bunch of numbers and stuff, don't worry about that. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Microsoft Dot Flight Simulator. And inside of this, we are going to go to our local cache. Inside local cache, we are going to go ahead and select Packages folder. Inside Packages folder, you'll select the Community folder. And this is where you'll actually paste that file that you copied. So we'll paste it here. And now we see A32NX is now inside the community folder, inside packages, local cache, Microsoft Flight Simulator, packages, local app data, 
mica users local disc c I'll, I'll put a link of what yours should look like uh, in the description down below. It's also in the readme. Again, I highly recommend you read the readme for the installation instructions. It's really simple. Now that that's installed, you are done. You've installed the A321, A320 and X by Fly by Wire Systems. That's it, you've done, you've completed it. So what you do now is you start up Microsoft Flight Simulator just like you would, and you'll see the A320 sitting there just like you did before. You may think, well, I don't see any difference. What you've done is you've overwritten the original Microsoft version with the A320 NX version. Uh, I don't know if there's an option to s install a separate aircraft itself. I don't know if we've, they've gotten there yet, but for now it just overwrites the original, which is totally fine because you're having a lot more functions, uses, etc., in detail. Uh, a lot more detail and functionality in the FlyboWire version. So I hope this guy has helped you hope this guy's oh man words are not my friend today i hope this has helped you guys if you like this kind of content be sure to subscribe like and make sure you turn on notifications by hitting the notification bell i will be getting more and more back into this uploading tutorials and getting this going this is of course the first tutorial on the a320 nx i'll be doing numerous others here coming up shortly about how to program the mcdo how to fly with the autopilot etc etc all in microsoft flight simulator 2020 thanks for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time up in the sky